someone who is excited. Look at little Gotham Jr. I'm gonna cry. I want a man who knows that I'm perfectly capable of doing things by myself, but will do things for me regardless. That is not going to happen. So I am just officially done. I don't care. I have settled on the fact that I am going to die alone. Is there like a cat sanctuary I should subscribe to now? Just let me know in the comments. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the desert. Hope you're bringing a drink or something. But guys, today, for the first time ever, I bring a desperate woman on the channel. Yeah, first time, guys. So cheers to that. Uh, but let's take a look at this woman that is quite desperate for a man. And let's see what she has to say. So my therapist asked me to make a list of what I want in a relationship with a future partner. And I am going to specifically reference a man because that's what I'm looking for. But I'm honestly curious if these things are asking a lot from a partner. So I'll share them with you. A man who can reassure me when I'm feeling insecure is a really, really big green flag to me. Because I will tell anybody I'm an insecure woman. It's the way I've always been. And I'm working on it. By the way, guys, just to mention, an insecure woman is the top three things I'm looking for. Right? So when they ask me what are your preferences, insecure makes the top three list. But probably the same applies to you, right? I feel like this one kind of speaks for itself. But a man who is proud to have me as his girlfriend. That would be nice. I want a man who continues to date me, who continues to put in that effort, even after one, five, 10, 20 years. Don't ever take me for granted. Someone who is excited. Oop. Someone bring tissues, guys. Uh, we're gonna give this mo uh, this woman a rest before she tears up. But this whole list, uh, of course, it's me, me, me. Uh, we don't even have to mention that at this point. But it also sounds like the list I know a, a toddler will write about Christmas, like, uh, well, I want a car and a, and a truck, and I want a big dinosaur and and, and three hundred soldiers, and, and I want um four hundred things. Like it's just. They want this and that and the other thing. Oh, give me some of that as well. It's like, <laughs> what makes you think you deserve all of this? But, but we'll comment that later, guys. Let's continue now. Ampu, quick, bring the tiny violin. Sorry. Someone who is excited to come home to me. that I'm perfectly capable of doing things by myself but will do things for me regardless oh man trying to keep my cool guys but you have to do all those things all right all those things and she won't even be grateful about it right there's no thank you there's no gratitude at all oh, I can do them by myself okay go do them by yourself right and knock yourself out and stop bitching about it on the internet holy hell guys like it's expected out of men to still be traditional because that's what a man is right and they still expect it from us to be emotionally stable to be supportive to be providing to love them unconditionally because that's what she wants she she won't even mention what she brings to the table you just have to love her like she's your goddess and you have to do all of that which men have been doing for thousands of years and she won't even be grateful about it. No, no, I can do it by myself. You, you know, just men are like this 
Uh, like an accessory. It's like, I don't need it. It's kind of like dessert, you know, but meh, it's okay. What? <laughs> like, let's not even talk about the part where you're not bringing anything to the table. We bring in everything and we don't even receive a thank you. And of course, uh, the moment you apply this masculinity to something that she doesn't like, then we will have a problem. So you can be supportive, you can be emotionally stable, you can be the head of the family, you can lead. But the moment you tell her something along the lines of, well, I don't quite enjoy you entertaining other men on socials. Oh, stop being controlling, stop being patriarchal. I'm more than an independent, right? Especially the small things. Uh, those were the small things? <laughs> those are the small things? I can't picture the big ones, guys. It's probably gifting her your house and a contract, biding your soul to her demands, probably. You know, guys, enough about this woman. But here's the thing. Men today are still willing to do all of that. Crazy to think about, right? They are, but for the right woman. Is this the right woman? Well, I don't think so. What men require in exchange for all of this, all of this, it starts with uh, not having a colorful past. So not having 40 eggplants through your legs. It starts with that. And most women today, they cannot even provide that. All right. Like we men are willing to do all of this, but at least we want to feel special, right? But we want to feel as though this is the reward. For our efforts nobody feels special when the reward is a participation award that 400 other men have gotten uh, without moving their little finger right and most women cannot even provide this we, we don't get to the conversation of well do you bring femininity to the table do you bring friendship are you going to be loyal we don't even get to that conversation to have that conversation because we cannot surpass the point of uh, well can you tell me about your body count and it's a number that is bigger than your bank account. Holy cow. So guys, let's move on to this sweet lady over here. This is the average experience of a single woman over 30. And she says, my thoughts on dating today. Let's have a listen. After spending the past year of my life on again, off again with a man I very much hoped and thought was going to end up being my husband, I've decided that I am officially ready to settle but not for him. I'm settling on the idea that I'm going to die alone because I have essentially tried everything with you men and I just can't win, okay? I have tried dating different types. I've tried dating outside of my tax bracket, whether it be dating up or dating down. I've dated for love. I've dated for money. I've tried lowering my standards, my expectations. I've tried being submissive and absolutely none of it works. None of you men know what you want from women. You don't know what you want from women like women don't know what we want for dinner and I am not a shapeshifter or a before she continues, guys, she mentioned this a few seconds ago. I tried to be submissive. But this is after, of course, having a body count in the triple digits. If you tried being submissive, first attempt, first success, right? It's that easy. Hey, what do you men want? That's what we want. Don't have a large body count and be submissive. And being submissive has many different levels of being submissive, right? Like, it's not that hard, all right? But if you already trash your life and then, oh, I'm being submissive. No, you're not. It's over. But once your body count is up to a certain point, it's over. Everything is over. Your future, your plans, your chances at success, all right? It's not that hard. Stop pretending. Skinwalker, okay? I can't just change my form on your fucking emotional whim. So I am just officially done. I don't care. I have settled on the fact that I am going to die alone. Not only am I going to die alone, I'm going to die alone and rich, probably plastic as fuck with some pool boy hand feeding me plantains between spouts of him taking a battering ram to my poon shop that's going to require absorbent amounts of lube because I imagine within the next 10 years, this baked potato is drying up. But contrary, I am okay with dying alone. So you guys can no longer use this as an insult in my comments. You're going to die alone. Great. Fantastic. Sounds like a plan. Where do I sign up? Well, and everyone is happy with that. <laughs> We all like that deal. Is there like a cat sanctuary I should subscribe to now? Just let me know in the comments. Yes, indeed. Guys, invest in cat litter and cat products. All right, I tell you now. I gotta say, this woman, at least she's down to earth. Right? Many mistakes along the way, but at least she knows what she's up for. If, if it's true that she's going to do that. Right? Just... Go buy seven cats and 
live alone. Try to make money to buy some play Playboy or something, right? That that's what what you deserve after. Well, th that's what you fought for. All right, that's what you wanted to achieve, and so congratulations. At least this woman isn't talking about I deserve, I deserve this and that, and uh, the six feet tall man, six digit salary will come for me any time now. But guys, the dark cherry on top of the cake. We have an emo girl. <laughs> I just love my dose of emo slash goth slash daddy issues girl a day, right? So let's check this one out. Uh, I see a little spot on her face that doesn't have a tattoo uh, or a piercing. So there's that. It's covered in like four layers of makeup. But hey, we have a, a spot on her face that doesn't have a tattoo. Let's get started. One thing I learned after dating men for over a decade is that you have to develop a whole ass filter to interpret what they're saying when you're trying to get to know them because they be speaking a whole different language and whatever they're going to tell you about themselves is going to be the most embellished, sugar-coated version of the actual truth. I'm going to give you some examples. Most of us already know this one. If he says his ex is crazy, he's fucking crazy. Run. If he tells you he lives with his mom right now because he had to move back home to save money, he never left, girl. He never fucking left and he's not going to until he moves in with you, run. If he tells you that his BM doesn't let him see his kid, he doesn't try to see his kid. I don't know a single mother that doesn't want to break. And if he's making excuses for every- You don't know a single mother that tries to keep full custody of the child? Yeah, sure. And by the way, guys, men lie about one thing and one thing only. And that is the, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship. That just means they want to have their fun and go right? It's the only lie that men tell. This is the, like, the only thing. Women, on the other hand, they, you really need a filter, a, a translator to decode everything that they say. Even when they're not trying to lie to you, they just speak in code. They say one thing, they mean another. They don't say one thing, they expect you to know it, right? It's like, you, you need this whole dictionary and years of experience and a professional team to understand them, right? Have you seen those memes where like seven men have bunched up in a room and they're trying to understand one woman, right? The, like this one friend's girlfriend or all of them are trying to decode what she means and what to reply and all that. But but men are the ones who have filters on their, their messages. Yeah, right. Everything wrong in his life, he's going to be doing that the whole relationship. He's the problem. Run. And if he says she's just a friend, baby girl, she is not just a friend. Run. So ladies, basically anything a man tells you is going to seem really great, but it's going to actually be all the way down here. You need to use that filter system to actually interpret what they're saying. You need to start doing it because it avoids so much disappointment. I just wanted to put that out there because I really used to be believing the shit that men would tell me until I dated so many that I realized they're all full of shit. If you can think of any more examples, drop them in the comments. The only thing I can think of is I'm going to run from you, all right? I'm going to run from your big uh, piercing on your nose. I'm going to run from the seven layers of makeup you have. Like, I've seen some wedding cakes with less layers than this woman has on her face. Uh, and I'm going to run from the fact that you mentioned at the beginning of the video that you've been dating men for 10 years, for a decade, all right? Uh, yet, casually, guys, casually, she didn't make it. Ah, oh, damn, so sad. You know, guys, I'm starting to see a pattern here. And maybe I'm crazy, but the women who try dating for serious and they are serious about it and they know what they want, they know where they're headed, most of the times they end up married and happy. Oh, sometimes he done they divorce. Yes, sometimes things don't work out. But most of the times they succeed. The women who go on dating sprees for decades they 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 always end up single like what 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 about that you know yes the, the ones who try seriously sometimes fail but the ones who mess around they always fail 100% of the time could that be a pattern could could that mean something maybe i don't know guys i'll let you guess give me your comments below thank you for watching and i'll see you next time have a good one